Hulk Hogan here, the greatest of all time, and you're listening to Knockout Radio. So what you gonna do? All right, we are back coming to you live from Apex here uh, in Las Vegas as we get ready for UFC 303. A big shout out to uh, Hank Spooner uh, tuning in, so uh, we want to thank uh, him for that. Our, our next interview, uh, we got to do quickly, I understand. I, I heard the two of you talking, so uh, let's welcome <laughs> Roman Dolisi. Yeah, correct. Right, close? All right. So why do we got to get you out of here real quick? Something going on? Uh, a sock? Is it soccer? Or, well, it's football. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, football. it's football. It's football for you guys. Yeah, All right. It's football. No, it's, listen, so so being a Georgian, so for, for our American American friends, we have the European Championships, which is kind of like the World Cup, and I believe it's the first time ever yeah. that Georgia have made the tournament, yeah. and they've came, and the fans have been incredible, and in their first game, they were amazing, and uh, so they play Portugal, Cristiano Ronaldo, in about 40 minutes, yeah. so, we gotta so we need to make sure that this is out. <laughs> You know what? One of my favorite things, I have the longest running MMA UFC show in the country. I've been involved since UFC 1. I love when I'm talking to whoever, whether it's an athlete or not, and they smile. And it's like, your smile just now when you were talking about European football, to me, was so cool. Like, now, it's just, yeah. to me, it's so cool knowing what you're about to do in a couple of days, to me, which is insanity, you know, fist fights and, and whatever. <laughs> they pay each other for money. <laughs> <laughs> but to see y'all smiling, talking about, uh, you know, your, your football. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's amazing. So why not football? Why MMA? Uh, I was playing football. I was a professional uh, soccer uh, football Thank player. <laughs> <laughs> football player, and I was goalkeeper. Uh, three years I played in Turkey. And uh, no I started very late in MMA, yeah. Oh my, who yeah. did you play for? Uh, I started in Trabzonspor, for school of Trabzonspor. No but uh, in the end, I was in Ankara Guju, but not in the uh, uh, highest team. Wow. Yeah, but it was good time. What was the strangest drill, goalie drill, that, that you had to do? Uh, we had completely different training. It uh, doesn't look like nothing uh, like normal uh, soccer, uh, football <laughs> players. I love you. And stuff. <laughs> But we had a lot of jumps. I don't know how to explain you cor using correct yeah. English, but it was a lot of reaction, and uh, it was very interesting and good training. So like. you know, obviously. So I'm just going to speak about soccer, but football <laughs> here. Just, <laughs> but with with in 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 relevance to the sports to MMA. You know, when uh, you would train, you would lie down on the floor and then. Oh, you know, yes. the, the reaction. So the, all of those reactional drills yeah. that the goalkeepers do, where the idea is that you get down, that you need to get back up as quick as possible because right. another thing. Has that helped with you as an athlete moving forward with I trying to get back to your feet? You know, I think uh, uh, it helped. Uh, like I was a professional athlete. I yeah. was like uh, running a lot. My cardio was good. I was my body was ready for any sport where I will start. And I first started in grappling. I did. Uh, I won a lot of competition in worlds and Europe and Asia and ADCC. A yeah. lot of competition in grappling from soccer. Yeah. But main thing what soccer gave me it's mentality. And second thing in soccer, especially when you are a goalkeeper, you, how you play depends how your team plays. <laughs> yeah. But grappling in MMA yeah. if you're good you're good if you're bad you're losing that's why yeah. it was a very big difference for I, I like that you both talked about the drills because I was helping my sons back in the day his high school soccer team and he played goalie I didn't know what I was doing I didn't play <laughs> soccer right so I invented this drill where I had him run around the net three times yeah and then I would drill a ball at him yeah but for the same kind of thing reaction and you know it can all help yeah we do like we do the same thing but we and turn around on the one and yeah. the one point and like yeah. do a lot when you get dizzy yeah you get dizzy and after uh coach is like throwing the ball or something and yeah. you interact but it's very hard because you are dizzy you don't understand what's going on <laughs> and interact on how where is ball so so how was this the, the decision to go from catching a soccer ball to punching people in the face no, it was from catching suck, soccer ball to catching somebody's head because I moved to grappling. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> and uh, it's, I think just sport chose me. It, it wasn't like I, I, I went after soccer. Uh, I didn't reach the levels where I want to be. I'm like, I, I always try to do maximum in what I was doing. I didn't reach the highest level. And that's why I just decided to go for education to Ukraine. And there I started doing grappling. Before in my life, I never did nothing like martial arts. Martial arts and I started there 22 years old, started grappling. And 28, 27, 28, I started in May. Wow. 
And now on Saturday, uh, entering the octagon against Anthony Smith. Yeah. Uh, give me your thoughts on uh, this up-and-coming guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm ranked number 10 in middleweight. Yep. Uh, he's ranked number 10 in light heavyweight. It's a big opportunity for me. Uh, hey, first of all, he's a good guy. I like him like yes. a person. That's more important for me what kind of sport fighter he is. Sure. Like, I, I look on different on things like that. Uh, if we're talking about fight what kind of fighter he is he have a lot of uh, experience that's also very important for our sport and uh, he have pressure going forward he have good grappling but i'm ready where do you think if you compare the, y yourself and anthony smith where do you think you excel over over him skill wise <coughs> i think grappling and he do a lot of good uh, he uses his grappling and he have good pressure mm -hmm. but i think if he will try to grapple me i'm, I'm i will be good there I, I spoke to an athlete a couple of weeks ago uh, in a different in, in a slap contest and, and he was showing so much respect athlete. and oh all right well, are you, are you trying to be respectful i'm trying to be respectful <laughs> yeah. and, and i said to him in, in the way you just talked about anthony smith i'm like can you turn it on and turn it off with that respect thing and then during their slap match he thanked the opponent former ufc mm -hmm. heavyweight champ mm -hmm. thank you for knocking me out i'm like what do you do how uh, how hard how he easy? really said like thank you yes, for thank knocking you. Okay, yes. i don't understand that me either <laughs> respect is important but the type of respect i don't understand and uh, i respect him because he's a good person i saw i'm in this sport uh, already long like uh, it's my five fifth year in ufc and uh, i saw a lot of guys a lot of bad guys a lot of good guys and uh, i can see the difference between them and anton is one of uh, them who is a good person and that's important for me we talked about that on the show last week uh, like i said i've covered this longer than anybody in the world and blah 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 and i remember back when this sport was respect you know where you yeah. could go and fight somebody and uh, we went to a, a ufc in london and, and two guys that fought yeah. rode together to the after party yeah no that that's not the way this is anymore, and, and I, I, I feel bad about that. I yeah. like Everybody tried to be Conor McGregor now. And he was the one, <laughs> the reason why we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, and, and I said, and, and I've taken a lot of heat for it, that you know, he's not great for the sport because he's changed it to... No, we can't say he's great or not. He did a, a lot, lot of great, great things. Good things for sport. Uh, a lot of people know MMA because of him, let's mm -hmm. say like that. Uh, and uh, that's true. But another uh, point of view on it is like what he's bringing to a new generation. Mm -hmm. I my perspective is that uh, we need to bring them like a good understanding how you need to live your life, how we need to act with the people, mm -hmm. how we need to respect your opponent. Because uh, for me, uh, there is no difference like life or fights. Some people are very different in fight and very different in life. And when sometimes when they ask me like. Uh, how, how how you are preparing mentally yourself and stuff like that for fights i'm not changing nothing this is just how i am in life mm -hmm. and i don't, don't need to do nothing special to be ready for any fight what's the craziest funniest strangest thing that ever happened in the middle of one of your fights uh, well, you're kind of smart there, so something must be coming uh, i don't know i don't know i don't know what's what's crazy but no, nothing. I, my my fights are core. Cool. They can't uh, like uh, do nothing with my mentality. That's why no matter what they are doing, how they act, I will keep doing myself. Okay. How do you? How do you? F obviously, in this particular fight now, you're yeah. you're stepping up in weights. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying not having to cut oh. <laughs> the way that you would normally have to cut? That's very big difference. Yeah, like you feel stronger. Big. You feel I feel stronger. Yes, uh, and uh, I'm not drinking so much water mm -hmm. like I need to drink when I'm cutting weight. And uh, this morning I wake up and I went and uh, eat breakfast very good in UFC PI and uh, like it's completely different feeling. Yeah, and uh, I think this will play the huge role. Uh, I think I will do better because uh, last time I was even heavier last time when I cut weight and started cutting weight for my middleweight yeah and now I'm lighter than I was for middleweight right, okay wow. because of, of consistency I, when I go back home I was supposed to fight a couple times opponents pulled out and I was still doing good diet and now I'm feeling much better do you think you would like to stay at light heavy I will or fight in both. Or you classes. just don't care. I'm going to fight yeah, wherever. Of course, the I will fight in both uh, weight classes, yeah. and uh, I think it's very good opportunity for me.
Uh, final, Roman, what uh, what can the fans expect Saturday night when they tune in to uh, UFC 303? As always, uh, if we are talking about me, never step back. No matter what's happening, uh, I will go forward and I will not stop. What can the fans expect on your uh, football game that uh, is coming in oh, 35 minutes? I like that you call it football. That's already <laughs> a big change. <laughs> this is like, yeah, this is, you know, Portugal are a good team, but Georgia have one of the teams that have kind of taken the the tournament by storm. And let's 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 say true. Portugal is a very good yeah. team and probably they will do very good. But I hope Georgia will destroy Portugal. Yeah. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> what, what do you wear more? Your 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 Georgia football club gear or UFC gear? Uh, what clothing? You know shirts. Yes. You know, do, yeah, you, yeah. do you wear your football teams? Swag, normal life. Yeah, normal. I mean, probably people don't see, but normal life. I'm well, like they see this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> normal life. I'm like this. I'm not wearing no, not much uh, sport things, but uh, when uh, it's like my uh, Georgian team is playing, of course, some Georgian football team. Awesome. Well, you know how I call American football? It's also you ask it about funny thing. I call it American handball because it's more like <laughs> yeah, it's more oh, like oh. handball. Than I have football. this. I have this argument with him every week. So yeah. does Grossman. Grossman calls it uh, hand egg or hand yeah. egg or, or something like that. Hand, hand throw ball. No, yeah. Yeah. hand throw ball much better. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, enjoy the, the week. Uh, your reward, I call it Christmas Day Saturday when you yeah. uh, get back in the octagon. Uh, enjoy it. And I uh, can't wait to see you next on Saturday. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's Bye go hit a quick break. Coming to you live from Apex here in Las Vegas. We'll be right back.